So in this video, we're just going to do a quick demonstration to see if the gyroscopes in a drone flight controller are sensitive enough to detect the Earth's rotation. And we're going to do that by fitting this NASE flight controller to my equatorial mount and moving it at various rates and watching the output from the gyroscope. Now I have the flight controller here and you can see that as I move in each axis, it's registering the relevant motion on the graph. You can see the scale and also the digital readout. When we put the flight controller down, the motion stops. Now, some of you may know that I've been heavily involved in radar controlled aircraft, helicopters and drones for many years. In fact, I started in the late 1970s. I started flying radar controlled helicopters in 2010 when I was living in Perth and drones a little while after that. But I used to build a lot of drones myself long before the DJI Inspire and Mavic became available on the market. And just for the benefit of the flat earthers who question everything I say, here are some of my radar control transmitters in Sydney. And behind those, we see two 550 size RC helicopters. There's another one, and I have plenty more downstairs in storage. I also have some transmitters, planes, helicopters and drones over in Perth. I leave them at a friend's house because we spend so much time over there with work, I get to fly them frequently anyway. And the reason I'm talking so softly at the moment is because Emma is asleep and I don't want to wake her up. So hopefully you can hear this okay. So here is the gyro now fitted to the equatorial mount. I have secured it with double-sided tape and a cable tie. I have also secured the power cable in such a way that it will put no load on the flight controller when the mount is moving. I will be controlling the mount through this computer so there will be no chance of any vibration being transferred to the mount by using the hand controller. And with this second computer, I will be showing the readout from the gyro. That's just my Mac being projected up to a 24 inch monitor. Now here is the display of the drone and I have set the loop time to 1000 microseconds and that means the gyro is operating at 1 kilohertz. If we go to the sensor data, what we're interested in are these readings, the X, Y and Z gyro output readings. They show in degrees per second and they're also going to show a graph of how much movement is being displayed as we saw earlier. So the first thing I'm going to do is just operate the mount on the RA axis at maximum slew rate. And we can see that's showing just over three degrees per second on the X axis. If I use declination and RA, we now have two axes moving on the mount and that is giving us an output on all three axes on the gyro. I'll put it back to the zero position. Now remember these gyros are designed to detect motion at many degrees per second when operating on a drone. So when they're moving very slowly, as we see on an equatorial mount, the reading on the graph is just minimal. Now that was maximum slewing rate. We'll now go to 16 times sidereal. So this will be moving 16 times faster than the rotation of the Earth. Firstly, RA axis only. We're getting a tiny reading on the X axis. If we go to RA and declination, we're just seeing a bit of jitter on the z-axis and a bit on the x-axis as well. Go in the opposite direction. We're just seeing jitter as well. Put the mount back to the zero position. So it moved slightly, which confirmed it was moving very slowly. Let's now try at two times the sidereal rate. And that means the mount will be moving at twice the rotation rate of the Earth. 
Firstly, RA only. There's effectively no reading. All we're seeing is the same jitter that we saw when the mount was stopped. Two axes, declination and RA. Again, just jitter and absolutely nothing on the graph. Put the mount back to zero. And let's try again with maximum rate. So we do have a reading with maximum rate, but with two times the rate of rotation of the Earth, the gyro really couldn't sense anything. Certainly not enough to display on this software. Let's go down to sidereal rate. Now selecting RA only and nothing but jitter. Effectively no different to just having the mount not moving. There's the mount not moving, we're still seeing jitter. So this is a fair demonstration that confirms a drone gyroscope is really not sensitive enough to give us an accurate reading of the rotation of the Earth. So while we're talking about radar control, here is a quick trip down memory lane. This is my Craft Series 80 transmitter. It's the second radio I ever bought and the Series 80 means it was built in 1980. It took me six months to save up the $700 to buy this when I was 16 years old, doing dishes for mum. My first radio was a Futaba and I gave that away long ago. But I just couldn't bear to part with this because it was my pride and joy. It never failed in more than 20 years of weekly flying. It operated on 40.665 MHz FM. And the more modern radios, they're all on 2.4 GHz. And clearly they have a lot more features and are overall a lot more reliable. But this old craft served me well. This is the Tyrannus X9E. And I recently changed the gimbals to the Hall Effect gimbals. They're a lot more accurate. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Retinal scan commencing. Scanning. Identity confirmed. Wolfie 6020. Greetings Agent Wolfie. NASA Mark 47 X-ray hexacopter selected. Detecting Earth rotation. Compensating. Detecting latitude, sensing angular vector, verifying, south 34 degrees latitude confirmed, GPS mode, idle down, fail safe off, flat earth debunking mode, off, flat earth debunking mode, on.